Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Elaine Oggins, welcome to the Valder BB Show as I'm in Dallas, but I get to talk to people all over the nation. So we're going to talk about Bon Voyage, or rather known as cruising. You're a travel expert. Share some tips with planning their next adventure that it plans to take, probably starting uh, Memorial Day coming up. Definitely. Uh, there are... There are lots of benefits of cruising right now. New itineraries, new ships, new onboard experiences, and multi-gen families just love cruising with activities for everybody. For example, the new Carnival Mardi Gras sailing out of Port Canaveral, uh, Port Orlando, sorry, same thing. Uh, They've got 22 places to eat, 12 bars, a mini golf, water slides, roller coaster, late night entertainment, pretty much everything you could possibly want. That's a lot. Give me three tips when you're planning your next getaway. What are three things that they can do? Okay, first, obviously, start with your budget. You know, where do you want to go? Um, and then uh, where, you know, then the next thing is, what kind of experience you want. For example, if you want to go to Alaska, Holland America is celebrating their 75th year in Alaska. If you're looking for an upscale, kid-friendly experience, Princess has kids' activities they've done with Animal Planet, and they have these uh, really cool wearable ocean medallion devices that you can do everything from open your cabin to finding the kids on board, to ordering food. Uh, Carnival carries more kids than anyone in the industry. It's very affordable as well. Um, And they have ports within 500 miles of where a lot of people live. Uh, If you're looking for, really want to pamper yourself after two years without a vacation and aren't traveling with kids, Try Seaborn, smaller ships, uh, all-inclusive, ultra-luxurious, and even some adventure-oriented excursions without roughing it. For those who want to go across the pond, as they say, but can't bear to leave their pets behind, Cunard has a a kennel at sea where the cats and dogs are, are pampered, just like you will be. Then the last thing I'd say is work with a travel advisor so they can help you with all the ins and outs, how to choose a cabin, get the best deal, um, and also you might get some extra perks. I want my audience to know that Eileen is a longtime syndicated travel columnist, and as I told you at the beginning, she's a travel expert. Eileen, I'm going to take this one from, where is it coming from? From Instagram. My audience views or listens or reads, reads about the Valder BB Show on multiple platforms. Great. And on Instagram, they want to know that they say they've never taken a cruise, and they said it may, may sound like a crazy question, but what kind of clothes do you buy for a cruise? I um, thought that was a good question. Actually, uh, you'd be surprised that many cruise lines are pretty casual. I would look for uh, things that are breathable and multi-use, you know, maybe quick dry. You might, like women might want to have a casual long dress. I I don't mean a cocktail dress, but, um, you know, just a long dress or sundress, something like that, to wear to dinner if you're going to one of the specialty restaurants, and the same men might want a pair of long pants that aren't jeans. In fact, if you're going somewhere warm, I'd leave the jeans at home because you probably won't wear them. What you should pack would be a rain jacket, (laughs) just just in case. Obviously, (laughs) a 
bathing suit and a cover up, but most people pack too heavy because, you know, if you're going to wear a bathing suit or shorts all day and then you just put on something nice for dinner, you could wear that several times. All right, I got one more. I'm going to take this one from Twitter. They want to know with COVID numbers slightly upticking, what kind of protocols would be in place if they took a cruise? They've uh, initiated all kinds of health protocols, plus 90% of the passengers and 95% of the crew are vaccinated, and you have to take a test before you board. So it, it's one of the safest vacation options out there. All right. Poster, I hope that answers your questions. Eileen, if they want, have more questions or they want to take a cruise or they want to get more informed, where do you send them online? Send them to my site, takingthekids.com, and they'll find all of this cruising information and more. Eileen, thank you. You've been a great source for taking a cruise. I think I want to take one, too. Thank you. <laughs> Happy sailing. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.